is my last video. This is my last video on him. After this, that chapter is closed until I retire from this media team. You don't go hear me. Because I'm sick and tired. Because this is going to be the last time. And I swear on my father's grave. The matter chop hot. Assembly Diloto. Hey! Aye! Today's episode of Info Day is going to be an editorial. Yes, and um, this particular editorial, I am going to talk about, um, of course, one of the things or one of the conversations that has been very topical on the internet lately. I'm talking about Ghana space lately, and it is between Shatawale and Kujushelde. In fact, this particular issue... I, for one, didn't want to add a voice or two to it. Like, initially, I didn't want to comment. But looking at how things are going and the kind of narrative that some people are driving is what is pushing me to actually come in to add a word or two. And here, I want to address certain things that Kodi Sheldon has said in, like, his quest. Or in his mind, he has an agenda to probably render <laughs> what some of the things that Shatawale has said invalid. And on this editorial, I just want us to do a very simple breakdown of some of the things that Kodi Sheldon has said. One of the things that he said that got my attention, of which is even pushing me the more to make this particular content, is the fact that he's saying Shatawale do not have the more right to actually comment even on Black Sheriff's fashion. Well, I want us to do a very simple breakdown here. And um, here, I am going to use more of Kodi Sheldon's words and what Shatter said and even how Kodi Sheldon interpreted it, of which is giving him that vim to say that Shatter doesn't have the moral right. And per his own marking scheme, I want us to also put him on that same scheme or that same measurement and see if he could you share it. Who is calling for equity has clean hands. My name is Roland Amate. This is a very simple editorial that I believe you are going to enjoy. So if you are watching or listening for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this content with others so they can also enjoy what we are going to share today and you know i always do this with you so you are always at liberty to share your views in the comment section let me hear from you but then know that shagzi has got you covered on this particular platform if you are a driver and you're looking to making some cool cash of course go on your google play store your app store download the app today sign up with just 20 Ghana cities whatever you earn whatever you get is for you pay no commission to anybody if you are a rider and you're looking for the most safe, secure, and affordable ride on the market, know that Shagzi has got you covered. And hey, Shagzi will be four years in December, and you should look out for more, some exciting news Shagzi is bringing your way this festive season. Now, let's go straight into today's topic. Let me open and close as quickly as possible. So, like I said, Kojo Sheldon is in the news, and he's in the news with Shatawali. This whole issue stems back from or stems back from when Shata went on Glitch Africa's rant, bant, and confession, hosted by Ophiodor, Gisela, and I mean the whole girls. You've you've seen it. I know if if you are following this conversation, then you know where this particular thing is coming from. On black on that platform, Shatawale said so many things. He said so many things, and actually I think the topic of discussion on the day was about fake life and other stuff. They talked about so many things, including his music life, his childhood, family, relationship, whatever. They spoke about so many things. A very two-hour lengthy conversation. Now, one of or some of the portions that I've seen Kodi Sheldon, the likes of Kodi Sheldon, DJ Slim, and other people drive has to do with when they were having a fashion conversation and Shatter uh, shared his opinion on what he personally thinks about some of his colleagues' fashion sense. Well, if you're a human being and a well-thinking human being, 
we all understand that some of these things, especially when it comes to fashion knowledge and other conversations, are very subjective. Are very, very subjective. That is just on the side. So, Shatter said, oh, to him, yes, he feels when it comes to somebody like Black Sharif. What, you see, forget about whatever Shatter has said that you want to respond to it. That's fine. You, you are at liberty to respond to whatever you think he said that you, you think he didn't say well and you want to respond to him. But you see, let's not twist that fact. Let's not misinterpret what the person said. And let's not give it a different image. On the show, some of the things that as far as this fashion conversation is concerned, as Shatta said, that people, I believe people have twisted and has made it unnecessarily topical, is the fact that when Shatta said, oh, some of Black Sharif's outfit, he, they are cool by him. But some, with emphasis on some, he as Shatawali, he doesn't understand. Which to me is very normal. Of course, there are certain things that, certain fashion wear that others have put on that some people or so many people have raised eyebrows on. So if Shatawale wakes up one day to say that, oh, Black Sharif, yes, I know he's trying. The people that are giving him costumes and everything, they are trying. But some of the things, some of the clothes, I don't understand. Chale, he says he doesn't understand. So are we trying to say that all the fashion, uh, all the clothes that somebody like Osibo the Zara man wears, in Tarini, you know, Shen, some of them, do we understand some of that fashion level? No, we don't. But Kodyo Sheldon sat on his platform and said, Shatta says, Black Sheriff, no, no dressing. Meanwhile, the person did not say that. Some with which he even emphasized. Well, maybe you, 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 you would doubt. But you see, Let's listen to what Shatta said, and let's listen to how Kodyo Sheldon gave or misinterpreted it to his audience. Sheriff, mm -hmm. they are trying for him, mm -hmm. but some of his outfits, like, you know, I don't get it. Mm -hmm. You understand me? <laughs> yeah, because I feel, yo, you're yeah, hip-hop, like some hip-hop artist. Why are you dressed like that? Because when you watch Ashake, let's take, when you watch Ashake, mm -hmm. wearing his diamond chains, mm -hmm. wearing his big trousers, mm -hmm. it suits, like, everything is it detailed. Fits. Yeah. It fits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you, you come in here too and see that, I don't know how to try this more, Why? <laughs> <laughs> you know, your details have to be right. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I believe. Details. Like, yeah, you know, I believe like, you know, when, when you are branding yourself, mm -hmm. brand yourself to be yourself. I'm, 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 I'm sure. So I don't, if I wear like big, a big trousers that is so big, I'll, I'll look funny. Are you throwing shorts? I can promise. No, 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 but Kim Promise looks, looks good. Okay. Yeah, you know, he, like, I know he wears those big shorts. Yeah, but you know, Kim Promise has like muscles too. Right. Like, he has like, a bit bulky. Like, mm -hmm. He's a, he was a bouncer, but you know, let's just. <laughs> yeah, so basically, you know, when I see people are like Kim Promise, like, right. I say, hey, he's gotten his selection. His right. selection, right. But I see some people too and go like, what? Didn't like they, who? Didn't they tell you that you look like a skeleton? Watch. So you feel like Black, black O's, the, 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 choice, the selection of outfits that, he, that they give him, no, it doesn't fit him. His branch. Some. Okay. Mm. You know when you have a sitting height and you wear like, you know, some kind of clothes. Mm. Right. You look good. Right. Yeah. Like I see tall boys and I go like, yeah, hey, I wish I was tall like this. Like, like <laughs> you know, so I think him with him, some of them fit, but some of them I go like, yo, bro, like, you're too hard, nigga. You know, hip hop guy. You know what I mean? Or maybe he's still trying to find himself. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, because yeah. he's young. Yeah, he's still so, very young. Yeah, so you see. You see, this is what Shatawali said about Black Sheriff. This is what Shatawali said about Black Sheriff. According to him, yes, he is trying. And you see, he also acknowledged the fact that the guy is young in the game. He is still trying to find his outfit. Come on, let's not be hypocrites here. Black Sharif has worn so many different outfits. Some of them we see and they become topical. Even Kojo Sheldon and your people on so many plat on so many occasions on the same platform have questioned or have even made topics out of Black Sharif's dressing. And you see, so how or where did Shatawale say that? 
Black Sheriff no no dressing. Listen to how Kojo Sheldon interpreted what Shatawali even said. This is Shatawali sitting down talking about black hose dressing. You know the fit time. You say Shaka the dress past black hole and turns. Wow. Once again, the insatiable taste for foreign goods, as opposed to locally made goods, has been what? Propagated here. How on earth did Shatawali say Ashake nose dressing past Black Sheriff? Look at the interpretation. Shatawali said some. You see, even in the second statement, when Efiodo wanted to even push Shatawale to be emphatic on what he meant by black coast dressing. He still said some. He still said some. So why are you giving a different image to this? And Shatawale says black coast no, no dressing. How? Where did he say this? Where did he say this? You see, and at the end of the day, you give whatever the person said a different interpretation the person vex, then you don't understand. The person is saying some, and you see, let's let's see, let's see, picture this myopic mindset. He says the mentioning of Ashake, and Kodio Sheldon is saying once again, the insatiable taste for foreign goods has been propagated. Meanwhile, in that same conversation, when Ifiodo asked Shatawale about Kim Promise. When Shatawale was asked about Kim Promise, he said, oh, Kim Promise, it fits him, in his opinion. It fits him because, oh, you see, Kim Promise has flesh. But Black Sheriff, he says some. Is Kim Promise a, 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 a Togolese artist? Is Kim Promise from a different country? Meanwhile, when he praised Kim Promise during that, when he was making that same statement, that one day, it is not um, an insatiable taste for foreign goods. But then, he says, oh, Black Sheriff, yes, they are trying for him. He has said so many good things about the guy. Including saying, oh, they are trying for him. But some of his outfits, he doesn't, I mean, understand. He doesn't get it. Just like somebody would also say, sometimes Osibor the Zara man also dresses and they don't get it. What is the big deal here? Where is the big deal here? I am asking. Because if somebody would say, oh, this person, yes, he has a good fashion sense, but some of them I don't get it. We think it is a crime. Hey, Shatawale says, Black Sheriff, no, no dressing. How do we, uh, like Adriana is saying, how do we interpret these two sta statements like this? How do we interpret these statements like this? Say Shatawale says black or no, no dressing. How? Meanwhile, the person said some on two different occasions. Black Sheriff, mm -hmm. they are trying for him. Mm -hmm. But some of his outfits, like, you know, I don't get it. Mm -hmm. So you feel like Black, black O's, the, 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 the selection of outfits that, he, that they give him, it doesn't fit him. His brand. Some. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know when you have a sitting height and you wear like, you know, some kind of clothes. Mm -hmm. Right. You look good. Right. Yeah. Like I see tall boys and I go like, yeah, we should store like this. Though. Like, they die. <laughs> you know, so I think him with him, some of them fit. With him, some of them fit. Yet somebody also sits on his platform and say, oh, he says, you know, no dressing. Like, how do we understand some of these? Like, when people speak, I told you, yeah, the likes of, you see, I don't have a problem if you think Shatawali has said certain things. You see, when it comes to Shata and Stoneboy, Shata and Sarkodi and those people, me, those conversations, you do, I know they won't enter plenty because those people or Shata, Stone, Sark, they all have a way of going at each other. So me, those things, I don't want to enter that much. But you see the interpretation these guys are giving to what Shatawali said. And Shatawali says, black or no, no dressing. Shatawali says, black or no, no dressing. But, Shata but listen to what he said. And listen to your interpretation. Eh? Listen to your interpretation. And at the end of the day, the, the, the taste for, the insatiable taste for foreign goods have been propagated. How? How? Meanwhile, in that same statement, this guy praised Kim Promise. 
But I need the hey, yehu, say it is good for local goods. It is good for the, the things we have here. No, we don't see it because, yes, we have a certain agenda to drive. We have a certain bone to pick with Shatawali. See, on that uh, interview, Shata said so many things. If you want to dissect the things that he said and do whatever you want to do with it, fine. That's, that's your opinion. That's, that's you. Nobody is gagging you from actually talking about Shatawali. But you see, don't give whatever he is saying a different interpretation. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And you see now, that is just on the side. One of the things that is very funny to me during this whole conversation is could you Sheldon actually um, questioning the moral rights of Shatawale? Even if Shatawale says, oh, black one no dressing or anybody no no dressing. Like, could you Sheldon thinking that he could you show them has the moral right to question Shatawale's morality? It's what they funny me. Because this is somebody that swore on his father's grave. His father's grave. This is somebody that swore on his father's grave. Not to talk about Shatawale again. See, people are not paying attention. Unless we don't know the gravity of what that of what that statement means. When somebody says, I swear on my father's grave, what happens to the memory of your father? What happens to the respect that you have for him? Even in death, that you say you swear on his grave. And because of social media numbers. Because, yeah, I want to talk about Shatawale. He will come and also respond and I will get numbers. So you can swear on your father's grief and go back on your words and you think you have moral in and integrity to actually question somebody's moral standards. Hey, Chrome Heart, Joe This is my last video. This is my last video on him. After this, that chapter is closed until I retire from this media team. You don't go hear me. Because I'm sick and tired. Because this is going to be the last time. And I swear on my father's grave. Last time. If you see anything Shatawali on my, my platform, henceforth. If you see anything Shatawali on my platform. What? Make you people go report to me, make them kill me. Anything. And I'll make sure of that. Anything, bro, from Facebook, everywhere. And this is not like a short term. This is like till I retire. And this is what came from Kudu Sheldon. It has not even been up to a year till I retire now. So today, if you are talking to Kudu Sheldon, no, Katcha will say, I swear on my father's grave, Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, run for your life because this is somebody that sat on, on, like, on his network. The whole world was watching, or the whole world saw this video. Swearing on his father's grave. <laughs> and this guy thinks that. He has the moral integrity. Like he has, he has, his moral standards are so high to question somebody's morality. See, me, I always say that when issue comes and it borders on um, anything like any other conversation, you can share your views. But you see, if you want to tread on moral grounds, eh? That moral standards are things that nobody will pass. Nobody will pass that moral conversation when it comes to morality. Nobody will pass. Yet, Kujo Sheldon is telling us that 
Chatawale doesn't have the moral right to comment on somebody's fashion. Like, what the heck? You swear on your father's grave, yet a few poor ma you said till you retire, and you go back on it, and you think you, you have moral and integrity to do what? To talk for people to listen. Okasa ni And I'm saying, hey, if I am standing with Kodi Sheldon, we are having a, like a conversation, and he says, I swear, I promise, I'll run for my life. I will run for my life because... Hey, this is the guy that swore on his, his dead father's grave. Yet, he thinks somebody doesn't have the moral right to talk about somebody. I have seen him pit Ghanaian content creators against Nigeria content, uh, Nigeria content creators. The Pella and Jarvis, whatever, no, it'd be Pella and Jarvis, right? Tom Body, this one has bought um, Lexus and things. We are content creators. It's like... Your taste for foreign good, no? No, no, it's like today you have like a strong taste for foreign good. The next day you want us to support locally made goods. This is like a, what? Whoa, it's like a walking contradiction of the assertion. A walking contradiction of the, the assertion. And this is because, okay, Shatawale in his statement, when people would want to challenge him, would say, Charlie, don't compare some of these Nigerians to us. Because currently, some of them are far gone. The people that you want to compare to some of us, yes, we are doing better. And you see, people should not also take this for out of context. Anytime Shatawale wants to compare Nigeria to Ghana, he has never excluded himself. In that same interview, when he asked, you see what Bernard Boy, Ashake Dems, Whiskey Dems are doing, which Ghanaian artists have done it? It's Shatawale Togoli's artist. He has not excluded himself from it. And when it comes to this conversation, what is the notion that he likes foreign goods compared to local goods? Like, an on a way. And you see, let me, let me chip in this. So my brother, uh, Clement Nana Samoa, Clement of Gossip24, let me say big shout-outs to him. He came to write this on Facebook. Nigerians are gone. And he used an exclamation mark. Nigerians are gone. Not surprised, there are more tech startups in Nigeria than Ghana. They are plugging game at some point. Nigerians are gone. So, Clement, hey, per Kojo Sheldon's assertion, your taste for foreign goods is being like you are propagating. You, you see, you are a working contradiction of assertion, according to Kojo Sheldon's statement. That is what he means by what he's saying, what you are saying. And you know the funny thing? Then I want to comment. Is this not similar to what Shatawale said? And now you say issue of message and messenger. You understand? This, you see, sometimes when Shatawale speaks, eh, what, is Shata, what is the difference between what Shatawale said that, oh, the likes of Westgate Dems, the Video Dems, Bernard Boy Dems are doing better than what our people are doing. This one is also saying Nigerians are gone. They are far gone. No wonder there are more tech startups in their country. What is the difference here? What is the difference? The only difference is that this is Shatawale saying it. This is Shatawale saying And you see when I made that particular comment, then Clement came to comment. People misunderstand him, but he speaks facts. People misunderstand him. But he speaks facts. When Shatawale mentioned Ashake in that particular statement, he did not say Ashake knows dressing pass anybody. He says whatever Ashake, in his, in his opinion, whatever he's seen Ashake put on fits him. You can say whatever you've seen Shatawale put on. It is not all of them that fits him. You are within your own right. It is your eyes. Like he said with Sakwa, he says Sakwa dresses like a lawyer. And if you don't ask him, like, how? And he says, according to me, my people, my eyes. So if in your eyes, you think Shatawale doesn't know dressing, that is you, that is your eyes. Don't misinterpret what he's saying. Don't misinterpret what he's saying. And you see, when Clement came to, and someone also came, the messenger, they don't like, they know they like. 
but they know the message is crystal clear. You see? So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, could you Sheldon wants to ride on? See, I don't have a problem if you think apart from this particular conversation, Shatter has said something that you have a different opinion about. That is not a problem to me. Whatever he said, he knows people will definitely come and respond. It is there, it is normal. But you see, Shatawale did not, and you come here, and he is denigrating his other artists. He is denigrating because he's going to say, Pella has this, and our content creator doesn't have that. Please, when Clement says Nigerians are far gone in terms of tech, don't, do you think we don't have tech guys here? Is Clement actually denigrating our, our tech guys here? Is he denigrating our, our people here? See, at, at every point in time, we need to do self-introspection. Yes, nobody is saying Ghana is not doing good. In fact, we are doing fantastic. But if we want to amplify the conversation, we fall short. And the earlier we accept and work on it, the better. It happens. It is not the end of life. Shata knows this. Shatawale knows this, and that is what he said. So what from this? Eh, Shatawale says black girl don't know dressing. Shatawale says black girl don't know dressing. How? How? And Kodu Sheldon wants to question the moral right of Shatawale. Meanwhile, you swore on your father's grave. Your late father's grave. Your late father's grave. Not to talk about Shatawali. Afim Pamba. Not even a year. You go back on your words. He does not have the moral grounds to, to even stand on to come and talk about. No, 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 no. No. The self-awareness be zero. Z-E-R-O. Zero. The self-awareness be zero because he doesn't have the moral rights. Meanwhile, you, you think you swore on your father's grave, denigrated your father's memory like that. You swore on your father's grave. Somebody that can swear on his father's grave and go back on his words thinks he has the moral right to question somebody's moral right of ask, like talking about somebody. Like in this country. <laughs> <laughs> See, let's not push this on moral grounds. Because I've said earlier, if it is on moral grounds, nobody will pass. Yes, bring another conversation and let's talk about it. Shatawale has said a different thing. You want to respond? Fine, respond. But I see on moral grounds, Kodi Sheldon, you are not fit. Nobody is fit. Nobody is fit. Don't even try. Don't do it. You are just making mockery of yourself. And you see, it is sad the likes of DJ Slim all will jump on this bandwagon. It is sad. For that one, I think I'll respond in the next in the next video. It is sad because once say understanding, once say no, can the self awareness is zero. Is zero. Like he said, this. See, because you said I'm using your own words. So. I'm using your own words. The same words you used in this situation. These are the same words I'm using. Nothing, nothing changed for here. I'm not changing anything. These are your own words. If you think that Shatawali is praising Ashake, is praising can promise, but he's saying some of Black Sheriff's outfit, he know the see top. You think it gives a, a, a bad impression. He's talking bad about his colleagues and what, what, what. And you think the self-awareness is zero. Could you share it? The same, in that same vein, for you to swear on your father's grave, not to do something and go back on your word. Like you say, you will not do it until you retire. You will not do it until you retire. Yet you turn around and by. Then could you share it? The self-awareness be zero. Z-E-R-O. Zero. Well, let me pause it here. You can share your views in the comment section. Let me hear from you. Let me know what you think about this particular issue. My name is Roland Amate. Maybe eh, I don't understand. Maybe you have a different understanding to this whole issue.
let me hear from you let me know what you think until then don't forget to stay safe subscribe share your views in the comment section i'll see you when i see you peace i'm out of here bye-bye hey